to the Saints worldwide, peace be upon you and your family. <clears throat> um, right now the world is celebrating what they call Pride Month. And it's important <clears throat> It's important to understand what, what's going on. They're doing that to try to mock God. And God will not be mocked. They want to they wanna use this to, to show that they're proud of their sin. And we all know what's going on. We, we're not fooled. God will definitely not be mocked. But this is a warning. Not so much to the elect because we already know, right? We already know what's going on. This is more of a warning to the rest of the world. And here's the warning. In Proverbs 6, it says, Six things does the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, feet that are quick to run a mischief, people who sow discord among brethren, <clears throat> and so on and so forth. Um... The main one that the the writer of Proverbs saw it fit to, to describe first was um, a proud look. It, it's, it ranks number one. It ranks number one. And the thing about that is God absolutely hates pride. He hates pride, especially in sin, but he hates a proud look. He hates when people are, are, are not confident in God, proud of the, who they are and what they are. Uh, skin color, none of that's going to save you, by the way. <clears throat> One, the, the world needs to understand something. When the last saint is dead, and they've killed him or her, and they're on this earth with the devil, there's going to be weeping and gnashing of teeth. It's going to be awful. It's going to be a horrible day. And they, they need to learn quick that it's just not going to be a good thing. It's going to be... When that last saint is gone, that, <clears throat> and they're down here with the devil, they're gonna regret the day that they didn't listen to us. They're gonna they're gonna remember us warning them over and over and over. Repent, get out of the world. My people perish for lack of knowledge, and they're gonna they're gonna regret the day that they were born. It'll be better if they had never been born at all. It's time to repent, people. The kingdom of heaven is nigh. Anybody who's not with God is against him. Anybody who's not helping to find the lost is scattering them. Jesus said that. Pride and skin is a whole other thing. The I'm saved because I'm black or white or whatever. That's not going to save you. There's no salvation in that. Consider this. There's 12,000 people from every single tribe that's 144,000 you're banking on being one of those Israelites first of all and then you're banking on being one of the 12,000 from each from one of the 12 tribes 10 tribes if two of them got eliminated for for wickedness the Danites the, D the Danish I don't know if they're the Danish but it doesn't matter who the Israelite is anybody who doesn't love Jesus Christ who doesn't love God who doesn't keep his commandments is a liar first of all anybody who says they love him and don't keep his commandments is a liar what is an Israelite someone who loves God that's what a Jew is neither Jew nor Gentile anymore any, any if you love God you're you're one of the elect there's 12,000 from every tribe 144,000 people and then to top that off apart from that small group of people there's about 8, 000, 8, mil, 8 billion people in the world. That's only a, a small fraction. And then, what does Jesus say? Wide is the, is the, broad is the way, and wide is the gate that leadeth to uh, death. And many there be that enter through it. For narrow is the way, for narrow is the uh, way, and what is it? Narrow is the way that leads to life, and few there be that find it. Simon, stop banking on that. So this is to those who 
who want to keep living like the rest of the world. If you want to play churchianity, that's a whole other thing. That's a whole other group of people that need to be targeted and need to be told they're in the wrong. Feeling churchy every Wednesday, Sunday, or Sabbath day, that's not going to save you, man. One of these days, you're going to have to, you're going to, have to choose. Choose this day who you will serve. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So, it's the time for, for playing games is over. You have to choose. Peace be upon you and your family. God bless you. And be safe out there, saints. We'll be under attack soon. Amen.